Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be showing you how to install custom maps or challenge maps into the um, Minecraft 1.1 multiplayer servers. So um, first thing you need to do is open up your win internet browser, which you should have up since you're on YouTube. Go to the first link and it should bring you to my channel. Go ahead and click the subscribe button to help me out. Then after that, you can go on to Minecraft.net, which is where you purchase the game and download it. Um, this is their website. Go ahead and click download, but make sure you're logged in. So hit download, and then you'll see multiplayer server. You can click this one for Windows, and I believe that one's for the iOS or um, Macs. But after you have that, go ahead and close this out. Um, in my download downloads folder, I should have the Minecraft server.exe. So I'm gonna make a folder for it to go in. Just name it whatever. I'm just gonna name it MC Server and then drag and drop your server into the folder now go ahead and run the executable file and you're gonna have to let it load shouldn't take long at all <clears throat> alright there we go it's that done and now you can exit out of here exit out Okay, hold on one second, guys. All right, so I got that close. Sorry. Um, but then you need to go to your ops. txt, and this will allow you to use um the too many items mod on the multiplayer server. So that's really nice. Go ahead and add in whatever um ops you want to add. So this is my name. So that would be in that'd be the first op, which is me. And if I wanted to add one, I could, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to add me. Then hit save, X out of here, and now you need to open up Log Me and Hamachi, and you need to copy your IPv4 address. There's other way to get the IPv4 address, such as doing the command thing, but that's just definitely the fastest way. So I'm gonna leave this up. I'm gonna leave it over here, and then I'm going to go into the servers.properties file, which is the properties file over here. Go ahead and open that up with Notepad, and let's see if I can get over here and. There's a couple things we need to do first. First, you need to go ahead and paste your co your server I IP, and then <clears throat> sorry guys, and then you can change anything you want to. Let's just change this to false. You don't need to create a level seed because we're going to be installing custom maps. Don't forget that. But after you got that, you can go ahead and save and exit out. And now here's the um, survival map that I'm going to be doing, which is Stratosphere Survival. And so. It's just I'm gonna drag that to the desktop and extract it, then drag and drop this in here, and you can go ahead and delete this world file. And sorry guys, about the buzz. But um, so now we have Stratosphere Survival V4. That's the name of it. I'm just gonna change the name. Or actually, you can leave the name like that, but you need to copy and paste the name. So copy the name, go back into the server's properties, and change the level name from world to whatever your map is. Then you can save it, close out of that, and start up your Minecraft server again. After it's done, go ahead and open up Minecraft. And while I wait for that to load, I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to copy my IPv4 address again. And then you're done with Hamachi. So after that, log in and let's see what goes. All right, go to multiplayer. Let me delete this real quick. And go to add server, name it whatever you like, and then paste your IPv4 address. Hit done, and you should see your ping bars over here. Mine's at 21, whatever MS stands for. Um, and then go ahead and join server. And as you see, we have the Stratosphere Survival Map. Um, go ahead and went ahead and loaded up on my server, and other people can join just like a normal server. But um, go ahead and leave me a comment whether whether or not. Sorry guys. Whether or not I should start a um, let's play of this survival map. I think it's probably the best survival map there is. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the... Oh, one more second. As you notice, I said earlier that it allows too many items to work. So, as you see, it gives you commands that only the ops can use. And that's how that works. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And leave a comment whether you'd like me to start a let's play or not. And I will see you guys next time.